Hi, I'm Julie Clark with Minute Bytes. Short videos with software tips you can start using immediately. Today's Minute Bytes session talks about amazing things you never thought Acrobat could do. Yes, you knew that you could search through an Acrobat document to find text using the Find box. Let's try to find Love Where You Learn. That's easy, right? However, there are ways to make your Acrobat document more user-friendly. How about adding custom bookmarks so that your readers can easily move to the section of the document they want to read about? First, let's click on the bookmarks icon to open the bookmarks panel. Now let's click on the new bookmark icon. Notice that the Love Where You Learn section of text that we searched for shows up automatically as a bookmark. But this might not be appropriate since we want to go to the title page of this document. Let's just change that to read title page and hit enter. Now let's pick another heading to search for. Let's search for course descriptions. Here we go. Let's click on the new bookmark icon. Now let's just reformat that bookmark so that it's not all capital letters. And we hit enter. Now let's try finding some courses. Let's start with technical writing and editing. Click on the new bookmark icon. Now we want to bring that in a little bit to be a sub bookmark. So we'll drag it in till we see the line go in under course descriptions and release your left click mouse. Let's select that and create another course title the same way. Let's look for technical tools, technical writing tools. Again, click on the new bookmark icon and it comes up right under the technical and writing, writing and editing course that we selected previously. A final thing that we want to make sure of is that we set up our PDF document to open with the bookmark showing by default. To do this, we go to File, then we go to Properties, then we click on the Initial View tab and under the Navigation tab option, we select Bookmark, Panel, and Page. Then we click on OK. This will set it up so that the next time you open this PDF file, it opens with the Bookmarks panel showing by default. Remember that you'll have to have Adobe Acrobat Pro installed in order to create your bookmarks. That's it for this edition of Minute Bytes.